Begin, okay? Question five. Question five is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, the other side has to be 10. Add 54 and 54 together, you get 108. 108 from 180 leaves you 72 degrees. 72 degrees on top. You use the formula half AB sine C, and you're going to get a half 10 by 10, and then you're also going to get sine 72. What is that in the calculator, please? Or it's basically 50 sine 72. Okay, guys. 47.55. Rory. 47.55 centimeters squared. Next one is number. Yes. Uh, how do you know you yeah. couldn't use the 54? Alright, guys. Next one, number six. If you're looking at number six, what I suggest you do is you do the sine rule. You find out what this length x is. So what you do is you go say x over sine 32 equals 9 over sine 74. Cross multiply. And what you get is x equals 9 sine 32 divided by sine 74. And what is this? In the calculator, guys, quickly. 8.69. 8.69. Hey guys, 8.69. What you're going to do next is this 8.69 goes over here. And what happens next is you have to figure out the angle that's in between them. What angle is in between both of them? Yeah, which is? 74. So guys, as it turns out, we didn't actually need the sign rule in the first place because it's actually an isosceles triangle. So there's going to be two different answers here. We might as well do both answers, okay? Here's the first answer. Shh. The first answer would have been a half, 9 by 9, sine 32. Will one of you do that one there? The second answer is going to be a half, 9 by uh, 8.69. And that one's going to be multiplied by sine 74. So will somebody do the top equation, somebody do the bottom equation, and let me know what you get. For the top one? And what's the bottom one? 37.69. What? 37.49. Guys, uh, sorry about that earlier. That one, this will find you down the bottom when we did the sine rule. Of 9 sine 32 divided by sine 74 was, what did you say it was? These values have to be the same, otherwise something's gone wrong. Now, can somebody put this into the calculator and tell me what you get? Mm. 21.46? Round there? 21.45. Yeah, so basically in the same, it's actually the same. Okay guys, that's it. Just be careful with the calculations having degrees mode, not radians. Moving on uh, to number 19, okay? So number 19 is back up here. Okay, in the triangle PQR, PQ is 12, PR is 8. If the area of the triangle is 43.5 centimeters cubed, find to correct to nearest degree two possible values for QPR. Now guys, this is an interesting question because you're going to have to do sine inverse and you're going to get you're going to have to be in the first and second quadrant so I'm going to show you how this works okay PQ is 12 PR is 8 and then we're just going to join them okay so that's going to be Q P R this is a uh, 12 this is 8 and what we're going to try to do next is we're going to try and find out what this angle is here QPR sine A now what we can do here is this guys, a half AB sine C, a half 12 times 8 sine A equals 43.5. Put that in, it's going to be 48 sine A equals 43.5. Will somebody divide 43.5 by 48? So 43.5 divided by 48. Sorry? 0 0.9. 0 0.9? Wow. Alright, so I inverse this to get the angle. So I inverse answer. 
and you get 64.99 which is as close to 65 degrees as we're going to get so A equals 65 degrees now there's a problem here sine is positive what did we say it was 0 0.90 roughly yeah sine is positive in two quadrants it's positive in A and it's positive in S so the first one is the first answer is A is 65 and what's the second answer? 180 minus 65 which gives us 115 it's basically I drew you the, the obtuse angle of 115 this triangle could also be an acute angle triangle with the same area both of them work the same okay guys next question what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to question 30 okay O is the center center of the circle of radius 6. A and B are points on the circle and the angle AOB is 2 pi over 3. Find the area of the minor segment shaded region and write your answer in this form here. Well, starting off, let's get the area of the full the full sector. Area of the sector is a half r squared theta. A half 6 squared times 2 pi over 3. Put that into the calculator, let me know. It's going to be 18 multiplied by 2, 36 pi over 3. I'm going for 12 pi. Will somebody confirm that for me, please? 12 pi? Yeah? Yeah. 12 pi. Next thing I'm going to do once this is done is I'm going to find the area of the triangle. The triangle is a half AB sine C. It's going to be a half 6 times 6. And then it's going to be sine 2 pi over 3. Please make ensure that this time your calculator is in radians mode. Because the angle give is given to you in radians. Go to the top. Shift. Set up. Put it back to radians. Then it's going to be a half. 6 by 6 which is going to be 18. 18 sine 2 pi over 3. And what did we get for that? 9 root 3. 9 root 3. This one's 9 root 3. Add them together. And we get 12 pi plus 9 root uh, Sorry, 12 pi minus 9 root 3. Because you're taking away the triangle from the sector. Factorize. What can come out of both of them? 3. And then we're going to be left with? Sorry, 4 pi. 4 pi minus 3 root 3. Is that in the form we wanted? Does that mimic the answer up here? A, A and A. A is 3, B is 4. Okay guys, stop there.